Hi Breakfast Serial Eaters to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got this time? Well this is from 1991 and it's Kellogg's Cocoa Pops Chocolate Moulds. Let's take a look. So on the front of the package we've got this early 90s image of Cocoa Monkey and then under that you can see it's advertising these uh, chocolate moulds. Interesting that they've used sort of uh, hand-drawn pictures of them rather than photos but there we go. Uh, on the side you've got a recipe to make chocolate sponge cake because I guess that ties in nicely with the actual promotion itself so on the back you'll see it's uh, talking about the chocolate molds being inside and uh, obviously then the fact that uh, you could obviously use it for cakes and everything else to decorate so there were four different colors to collect and there were actually six different uh, characters as well and when you opened up the packet this is what you got a whole mixture of these we'll uh, have a look at them each in turn firstly I'll show you the uh, four different colors so you've got uh, in this case you've got Alan the anteater you've got uh, him in yellow let me move the packet so you can see it slightly better there uh, you've got him in green him in blue and red and you'll see it says uh, Coco pops along the top there and it's dated the 1991 now uh, just to mention that there's sort of two variations of this uh, mold so you've got them with these sort of uh, top and bottom sort of indents you can see it's better when I hold it sideways you've also got it then the other side so uh, I'll show you on the yellow one so you can see no idea why that was the case it was probably something to do with the manufacturing but I guess that then meant that you've got even more to collect as uh, indeed I did here so that was Alan let's go through the others you've got uh, Coco Monkey as well that's just his face there's a, there's a slightly different version of Coco there as well where he's I think he's smiling but I'll just show the two next to each other so actually when you're looking for these uh, sometimes it's a bit confusing as to which one you've actually got and need because of the fact they're so similar you've got uh, Shorty the giraffe you've got uh, Osmelda the ostrich and finally you've got one of uh, Coco Monkey swinging and here's a, an image of all six of them so that you can see them all together. And don't forget to check the ad that's at the very end of this as well. So uh, that's the moulds. I've never made these. So uh, hey, let's give it a go, shall we? So I've got the six moulds out. And uh, you'll see I've had to sort of support them because it does actually say that you've got to keep them flat. So they're not particularly uh, stable as they were. So I've used some of the other moulds to do that. I've got my hot chocolate here cooking chocolate and uh, also some kitchen roll because I'm sure I'm going to make a mess so let's have a go I'll we'll start off with Coco Monkey so we've got enough chocolate in all of this that's him done let's do uh, the one of him swinging as well it's quite a good one Whee. <laughs> that's gonna be a bit of a rubbish one I'm sure And certainly see I'm not a baker that's him done let's go to the other side I'll do shorty now Starting to harden a bit. Ooh, too much 
patch there, I think, as well. Whoop. Right. That's Helen's turn. Mill, but I'm just going to move that over a little bit. So, uh, give her a shot. her done as well so now I've got to put these in the fridge and yeah we'll come back and see what they're like so my cocoa molds have all come out of the fridge now let's see how they turned out shall we so uh, that's cocoa sort of smiling that's not bad actually is it I think that comes out quite well that's really good a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Here's uh, Alan. Yeah. I'll get a knife just to give me a bit of bit of help with this one. A bit stuck. Oh, broken a bit of his nose off. But uh, yeah, again, that's quite good. Here we've got uh, the other Coco Monkey. Got Shorty here. Oh, here we go, popped out. You can see I've got a bit of sort of flash around the edge where I overdid it a bit. Here's uh, Osmelda with uh, a lot of extra chocolate. This is the one I flooded. Damn, really nice I think how the moulds come out and finally you've got Coco swinging so uh, yep that's a really good one too you can even see Coco on his uh, shirt there really good well I'm, I tell you what I'm very impressed with that it's really good and it's uh, nice to see them actually used uh, clearly I need a bit more practice in terms of uh, pouring chocolate out and I won't be making any cakes soon but I really like this. This is uh, fantastic and it's uh, great to have actually done it. Now it's about time I started to eat them. We know you love chocolate and cocoa pops. So we put a chocolate mold up in each special box. Have your mouth to make them and you will see. If you're interested in this and other cereal items, then please subscribe to this channel, like and share it, or visit my website, cerealoffers.com. Click on Kellogg's and then Cocoa Pops.